All right, next talk is on bi-click cryptanalysis of the full AES, and it looks like out of the authors who said they'd be giving the talk, it'll be Christian Rushberger giving the talk. And oops, I'm sorry, now I'm being told that it's actually all three authors giving the talk, so that'll be Andrei Bogdanov, Dmitry Kovartovich, and Christian Rushberger. Hi all, can you hear me? Uh, so I'm Christian Rechberger, and this is joint work with Dmitry and Andrei, and we would like to update you on some of our recent results on the AES. Um, well, maybe appropriate subtitle of to cut a long story short, would be that you might want to consider renaming AS-128 into AS-126 in a, in a few minutes. Um, well, as you all know, AS, as designed in 97, um, received a lot of cryptanalytic scrutiny, but so far didn't get a single scratch whatsoever. And being a, a global standard, widely deployed, one of the, if not the most widely cryptographic primitive we have, these days, it certainly received its fair share of uh, attention. Um, the main ingredients of our new uh, results is a concept we call Biclic cryptanalysis. Um, Biclic cryptanalysis was originally developed not too long ago in hash cryptanalysis, um, but now we applied this to AES, and to our surprise and to our excitement, we actually figured out that we can cover all the rounds with this method for all the variants of, of AES. So what are, what are big clicks? Uh, very simple combinatorial objects, uh, complete Peabody graphs. And depending on the size of this graph, well, the larger the graph becomes, basically, the more uh, excited we get, because the, the better our attacks becomes. And if you see this, you will maybe agree that sometimes cryptanalysis can be a, quite a psychedelic experience. <laughs> um, actually, Finally, the graph we actually have is even more dense, but it doesn't make so much sense. And so where is it applied? We start with simple basic mid-in-the-middle attacks, and then use this peak leap, uh, this peak leap structure to extend it from around. So we have a cipher here with plain text input, key input, and cipher text output. And we can extend uh, the number of rounds. Um, how do we do this exactly? And, uh what the cipher we want to apply the big click for. Of course we want to apply it for AES. Although the best meet in the middle attacks that we try to ex improve covers as few as four rounds as we know from yesterday talk. And actually the best key recovery attack on AES 128 covers only seven out of 10 rounds. And this number hasn't changed since 2001. Of course, we want to do better and um, in the first version of our attack, we make a small step forward and got the first attack on eight round of AES-128 with big clicks, with small but noticeable uh, and precisely computed advantage over brute force. This is just the beginning because we decided to make a further step and consider the full number of rounds for which in the first time we get a key recovery method that is faster and provably faster than brute force for the full turnaround AES-128. Our attack can be well applied by all the ver on all the versions of the cipher, including, of course, 192. The best meet in the middle covered before as few as five rounds. The best key recovery attacks covered eight rounds. And now we make a four round step ahead with even larger advantage that in 128 version and are able to recover a secret key of full 12 round AES-192 faster than exhaustive search. How exactly? So, I will try to give you an idea of how to construct a big click uh, in AES. So, in AES 128, uh, uh, we place the big click at the last three rounds, and to construct it, we consider by differences in the key, once backwards and once forwards, and then we see that those uh, propagations are independent. And then it turns out that we can combine them very efficiently at almost no cost. If you look closely at that, 
you might see this. So it's uh, exactly a big click over three rounds of AES covering to the uh, 16 keys. And then in the key recovery, we split the entire key space into groups of to the 16 keys each, each corresponding to a big click. And then inside each of those, we computed the eight forward propagations to the eight backward propagations, and then we combine them at the cost of to the uh, nine computations only. And with this, we cover to the 16 keys. This is the major source of our improvement. We can recover the key of all three full AS versions with advantage factors from three to five. Success probability is one. Memory complexity is negligible. We don't need any related keys. It's single secret key model. And you might want to check out our paper at the project website. Thank you.